Korean broadcasts are receiving global attention and are in the center of Hallyu, the Korean wave. These days, there are many fun programs which many don't want to miss. And thus, issues from the K-broadcasting industry are in the limelight. Let's find out what's hot these days. The first issue maker of the K-broadcasting industry is the fame of the period drama Six Flying Dragons. When we look back on Korean history, the most spectacular time would be when the Joseon dynasty was set up after destroying the Goryeo dynasty. Six Flying Dragons is about six dragons referring to the six heroic figures. The first episode had the highest viewer ratings in that time period and is receiving lots of love from the viewers. Let's now check out the success factors. First off, we have an A-list cast. The actors who portray the six dragons are outstanding. We have actor Chun Ho Jin, who acts as Lee Sung Ge, the first king after the establishment of the fledging Joseon dynasty. Next up, we have actor Kim Myung Min, who acts as Chung Do Jeon, the man instrumental in helping Lee Sung Ge set up the dynasty. We also have actor Yu Ain, who acts as Lee Bang Won, the fifth son of Lee Sung Ge and the third king of the Joseon dynasty. Actor Pyeon Yohan acts as Lee Bang Ji, the bodyguard of warrior Chung Do Jeon. Actress Shin Se Kyung acts as Poon, the lover of Lee Bang Won and the sister of Lee Bang Ji. Actor Yoon Kyung Sang acts as Mu Hyur, the closest aide of Lee Bang Won, who conflicts with him later onwards. The acting of these actors are considered the best ever. In particular, Yu Ain is a top actor who showed extraordinary acting in the movies Veteran and The Throne. His charisma stands out in this drama as well. Yi Bang Won, the role which Yu Ain plays, is one who caused an uprising and gained total authority as a king. There's no actor other than Yu Ain who can show such energy. Later on, Yi Bang Won punishes Chung Do Jeon, whom he had respected and followed. And thus, many are curious to see the acting confrontation between Yu Ain and Kim Myung Min. Unlike the previous period productions, the fact that Six Flying Dragons is a young faction period drama is a success factor. We can look forward to the romance between Yu Ain and Shin Se Kyung, and the action scenes by the bodyguard warrior Pyeon Yohan, as well as that of Yoon Jin Sang. It's a period piece with popular and handsome actors. Another interesting fact is that Six Flying Dragons is considered a prequel to the drama Deep Rooted Tree, which was aired four years ago. Six Flying Dragons is causing a sensation with all of its episodes. It's a 50-episode drama, so an exciting and fun storyline will unfold. Be sure to watch this drama until the end. Now, the drama Six Flying Dragons is very popular these days, and I'm sure some of our female viewers, including Crystal as well, is really enjoying the uh, appearances of Yu Ain, Pyeon Yohan, and also some other handsome stars. I guess Adrian did notice that I've been watching all the episodes of Six Flying Dragons, and top actors are creating a fast-paced and exciting period drama. Agree with you, Crystal. And of course, these historical productions are really uh, showing us the power of Korean dramas and films, so we'll continue to keep you posted. Now, Crystal, please tell us what's coming up next. Well, let's go take a look at the next issue maker. The second issue maker of the K-broadcasting industry is the chemistry between actors Cha Seung Won and Yoo Hae Jin. They are creating another huge sensation. The two are starring in the second season of Three Meals a Day, Fishing Village. This variety show is meeting up to everyone's expectations and is making the small screen viewers laugh. Ta Seung Won and Yoo Hae Jin have been close for a long time. The two first met back in 1999. Then, in Cha Seung Won's 2006 movie South of the Border, Yoo Hae Jin played a supporting role. And in the following year, the two were both cast as leading characters in Small Town Rivals and delighted everyone with their chemistry. The two built their friendship when they were unknown actors and their friendship has been strong for the past 16 years. That's why Three Meals a Day, Fishing Village is all the more enjoyable. Cha Seung Won showed superb cooking skills in the first season and all of the dishes he cooked were sensational. Cha Seung Won showed qualities like a middle-aged lady and Yoo Hae Jin had to bring food by going fishing. 
But Cha Sung Won nagged at him when he didn't do a good job. The two bicker a lot in the second season and experience a lot of trouble to put food on the table. This show is all the more loved as Cha Sung Won and Yoo Jin don't create the show with ready-made lines, but they show their realistic qualities through their actions and way of speech. Cha Sung Won is a passionate cook and we want to see it more often. Be sure to enjoy three meals a day, Fishing Village, until the end. Now it's true, and many people say that they really laugh when they see Cha Sung Won and Yoo Hye Jin together. That's right, and I'm too, I'm a huge fan of both the actors, and it's great to see the two maintain their friendship for a very long time. Yeah, so hopefully along with this uh, variety show, we'll get to see the two of them maybe in a drama or a movie, and of course we will let you know as soon as possible. Coming up next, Crystal, tell us, where are we going? Well, I'm curious myself, so let's go check out the final issue maker. The third issue maker of the K broadcasting industry is high teen dramas, which garner a lot of attention for its innocent, refreshing, and delightful qualities. Let's check out the secret to the success of these dramas. First up, the drama Cheer Up began airing on October 5th, and it follows the lives of teenagers in a cheerleading squad at Sebit High School. It shows the romance between 18-year-old teenagers. The actors are ones who are receiving love from fans all over the world. Chung Eun-ji of A-Pink is acting as a bright and outgoing high schooler who loves to dance but does poorly in academics. Lee Won-gun, a rising star, shows sweet romance with Chung Eun-ji. There are also many rising stars like N of Vix, Ji Su, Che Soo-bin, and others who are creating outstanding synergy in this drama. The chemistry between Chung Eun-ji and Lee Won-gun stands out. It's interesting to see that the two are a nerdy male student and a not-so-smart female student. The two are slowly being drawn to each other, and the two make the viewer's heart skip a beat as well. This drama has the theme of cheerleading, so it looks like many fun and captivating scenes will be shown. Be sure to keep an eye out on this drama, which deals with worries, being lost, new challenges, and romance. Do you guys know how Chung Eun-ji of A-Pink began her acting career? It's through the hit drama Reply 1997. Back in 1997, popular boy groups like H.O.T., Jex Kiss, and others were active, and this drama was well-loved for realistically depicting the lives of teenagers and people in their 20s. The next season was Reply 1994, and Chung-woo, Son Ho-jun, Yoo Yeon-seok, and others shot to the top. And now, after a long wait, we finally have Reply 1988. The past has become special memories and Reply 1988 shows the lives of young people in that time period. It's set to air on November 6th. We have Harry of Girls Day as well as Ko Gyeong Pyo, Ryu Jun Yeol, Park Bo Gum, and others starring in this drama. This drama is bound to be filled with the analog atmosphere of the 80s. Be sure to check out stories about young people through the mentioned dramas. Make sure to tune in again for next week's Issue Makers.